Chapter 16. Early Betrayal. After that funny incident by the pool benches, Hyun Ki suggested to Riel that they dive into the pool. Go ahead, Hyun. Let me finish my fresh drink first. The truth is, she is nervous about diving into the pool because she fears drowning since she is not fond of swimming. Hyun Ki felt Riel's hesitation but insisted on her. He is waiting for her in the pool, encouraging her to dip in, and he'll be there to hold her as she swims in. Come on, you can do it. He swam closer to her and held her by the waist, bringing her to the middle of the pool when Riel suddenly panicked. She got loose from Hyun Ki's grasp and panicked when she could not touch the pool's flooring. She tried gasping for air but went deep down the pool as she panicked. Hyun Ki was terrified and dove in to get her out. The onlookers went nearby to see what's going on with the commotion, and as Hyun Ki emerged with the still body of Riel, they couldn't help but moan about seeing such a beauty drowned. Hyun Ki tried to resuscitate her, but then Riel suddenly coughed out the water from her lungs and wept from awkwardness. Seeing all those people gathered around them, she whispered to Hyun Ki to get her out of there, for she was too embarrassed. Hyun Ki then brought a cottage for Riel to rest. I told you I did not want to dip in, but you kept insisting, assuring me that you were there to help me through, but look what happened, Riel remarked in an accusatory tone at Hyun Ki. Embarrassed by the way the onlookers sighed and moaned to the point of pitying her for what? The first time they saw beauty in revealing swimwear drowned? I was there, wasn't I? I was holding your waist, but you let that fear come into you. You panicked out of control that I lost my grasp on you. I'm sorry but don't blame me. Defended himself from her accusations. And besides, that swimsuit will just be a waste if you're not going to use it, right? Hyun Ki flashed a qualifier smile. Riel stood and beat him up on his chest, pissed off at Hyun Ki's statement, feeling embarrassed at the same time. How dare you? Hyun Hyun Ki smiled, amused by her clumsiness, and hugged her to show his affection. You should have trusted my word, but you insist on holding to your fears. Anyway, that's over, and no one will remember that incident because you are not a regular customer here. Cheer up. Okay, we'll be back to the head office soon, and no one will recognize you once you've dressed up with another outfit. Encouraging her with his loving embrace, he then gave her a quick kiss on her forehead. Hyun Ki caressed Reeler's hair and said, Your hair is sticky because of the pool's chlorine, and your skin is rough, too? You better wash. Huh? That's what I'm going to do now because I cannot stand my sticky hair and skin. I'll shower first, then do the same. Okay. Riel reminded him with a sweet smile. Hyun Ki watched her closely and then suggested, Let us shower together to save time. Riel looked at him, squinting, and said, Padding? That's not nice. Hyun Ki. Just kidding. He replied, his lips together and lifting an eyebrow indicating a subtle flirtatious smile. Then the couple went to their room and took a well-needed shower. When Riel, in a robe, went out of the bathroom, drying her hair with a towel, Hyun Ki couldn't help watching her closely. Then, he suddenly moved to the bathroom for a shower. When he came out with a towel wrapped around his lower waist, he looked at Riel still in a robe combing her hair, and suddenly came very close to Riel and stood her up, holding her shoulders tightly. Riel was startled at the way Hyun Ki held her. As they stared at each other, Hyun Ki whispered, Let's make love. Riel then he grabbed her so close to his body and kissed her so hard. Overflowing with a deep desire to subdue her, Riel was so afraid of Hyun Ki's move on her that she fought him with all her strength, begging him to stop. She was already crying out loud and wanting to scream so she could push Hyun Ki hard out of his grasp on her body. She fixed her bathrobe and cried ferociously at Hyun Ki. Hyun Ki, at that instance, realized his mistake and couldn't speak a word. Riel pushed herself to the wall and cringed, clasping her hands together to lock her knees. How dare you, Hyun Ki, how dare you move on me without my consent? Do you think I am like your woman who gives in to your desires if you want to? Am I that easy to get Hyun? Ki, how dare you cross that line? She was so frustrated and cried in desperation and dismay. Hyun Ki remained quiet his hands covering his face while he shrank himself on the bed. I trusted you. I took your word for it when you told me that I can trust you, that you will protect me but look at you now. Are you protecting me when you are the one who is the first to harm me? You're not even a trustworthy person to me now. And I hate you, Hyun Ki. I truly hate you, cried Riel. Hyun Ki flinched, touched the wall with his two hands, and leaned his head toward it, very embarrassed and ashamed of what he did, then quietly went back to the bathroom to dress up. He left the room without saying a word leaving Riel miserable. Not even a mention of sorry was heard from him. 
Hyunak he entered the bar and ordered a whiskey. He drank immensely and could not escape the thought of realer's accusations, and while indulging in his thoughts and the whiskey, a woman came near him and offered him a drink. Hyunak he stared at her, sizing her up with her looks. She had long wavy hair, half flowing down her left face, and her plunging neckline fully showed her chest. She is attractive and sexy, and daring. You look miserable. Need someone to talk to? I am a good listener the woman looks seductive. Hyun Ki just stared at her, saying nothing. You need a place to stay? I can offer you my room, she offered, somewhat closing in on him, and he got interested in her seduction. He stood up, paid his bill, and grabbed the woman's arm. He thought of accepting her offer since Riel rejected him, and he had no face to return to Riel. Where's your room? He asked as the woman led him to the hotel's elevator. And when she opened the door, Hyun Ki pulled her inside and leaned her behind the door, both started kissing and started to take off his shirt and unzip his shorts. Then the woman pulled him to her bed, undressed, and they enjoyed each other's moves. Time passed slowly for both, setting aside whatever thoughts occupied Hyun Ki previously. Riel, on the other hand, was already worried about Hyun Ki. Three hours had passed, and he never returned. They must be at the airport before 10 p.m. and might miss their flight. She walked out of the their room and tried to look for him by the pool. Then, she had an eye for the bar. She was supposed to go inside when the man Hyunaki had trouble with appeared by the bar entrance. Why are you so all alone entering the bar? Where is your foolish husband? Remarked the man. Riel is not supposed to mind him and intends to enter the bar, but the man blocked her. I am Andrew, by the way. I wouldn't go inside if I were you because most men are there. Your husband might get into trouble again because of you. He warned feeling uncomfortable while showing her positive intent, thus a forced smile. If you allow me, I can go inside and look for him. How about that? He warmly suggested. You'd do that, Riel asked courteously. Yes, of course. Why not? I am used to the insides of this bar, and since I am familiar with your husband's face, I can quickly identify and tell him that you're here waiting by the entrance. Thank you so much, Andrew. I am Riel. I owe you one. Then Andrew came back in. As Riel was standing by the bar entrance, she noticed a man by the elevator lobby and she recognized Hyun Ki at once. As she was about to approach him, a woman behind him placed her arm around Hyun Ki nearly. Riel stopped instantly and watched them both. The woman embraced him. You should have stayed in my room until you sober up. The woman was flirting, continually hanging her arms around Hyun Ki's neck. Riel couldn't hold her silence anymore. She approached the man shoved the woman away from Hyun Ki. As she was doing this, Andrew was already there and witnessed what had taken place among the three. Hyun Ki was also taken aback by Riel's action. Riel grabbed Hyun Ki, pulled him, and dragged him away from the woman. Hyun Ki was about to say something when Drew showed up. So, Riel, I could not find your husband inside the bar, because he was with his woman, Drew gave a biting remark to Hyun Ki. Without a fuss, Riel ran away, disgusted and disappointed. Wait, Riel? For a moment. Let me explain Hyun Ki shouted, following Riel back to their room. Here was the early betrayal of a new love affair that was supposed to grow and develop into a strong relationship. If you were Riel, wouldn't you be highly disappointed for having been betrayed of that trust by the one you love? 